The arrival of two manatees to the South Florida Museum was supposed to be about getting them ready for rehabilitation and getting them acquainted with the museum's famous resident, Snooty. But things today didn't go exactly as planned. Take a look at what SNN Local News photojournalist Chris Kennedy captured upon the manatees' arrival. Good. Okay. Good. Good. Two young male manatees that had been rescued with cold stress. Uh, they'll be coming to stay with us here at the Park of Manatee Aquarium, living with Snooty probably for about a year. That's the plan, but what was supposed to be a transfer of manatees from this truck to a crane lifting them to the second floor of the museum, to a holding pool, and then to the main pool with Snooty, turns out to be anything but routine. Well, honestly, I just closed my mouth, shut my eyes, and hoped that I would still be standing on the ladder once it was over. This is Longo. He was rescued off of Longboat Key last January. He weighs 675 pounds and is 7 feet 3 inches long. That packs quite a bunch if you're on the receiving end of a less than calm introduction into this holding pool. The, the tail started kicking and the manatee started splashing and I just really lost all sight of what was going on so I just waited and held on. By contrast, Snooty's other new friend Chino arrived to the museum in textbook fashion. No fuss, no mess. Chino was rescued near Fort Myers. Both new manatees suffered from cold stress. Uh, young manatees that have been orphaned or otherwise separated from their mothers don't know enough to get out of cold water. So they found themselves out in water too cold for them. They began suffering from cold stress, which is similar to frostbite. Whatever their introduction to their new surroundings, when it came to meeting Snooty in the main pool, both new manatees, Longo and Chino, were calm and pleasant new poolmates. Both Longo and Chino will be rehabilitated at the South Florida Museum, then after a year or so, they will be released back into the wild.